tip number one bring forward deductions very very easy one uh and this is if you know something's not yet paid by 30 june but it's booked in the um accounts as a liability or provision or an accrual then uh, a deduction can be claimed if you know section 8 1 uh where there is a presently existing liability by 30 june uh, and there has to be a reasonable estimate of an amount. So you can't merely just, you know, deduct your provisions. It's got to be something much more than that. So an example is accrued bonus. Usually it's not really fixed by the end of the year. It's just a random number that's just parked aside as a provision. But you can approach your client and ask them, you know, this year, do you want to try and get that as a deduction earlier? And this is what you would need to do. First of all, you need to get board approval for that amount, and then you need to communicate the bonus amount to each and every employee, because the test here under the Merrill Lynch case is there must be a promise to pay an amount to each employee. So the, the test is almost like you've got an employee on 30 June, uh, they're entitled to their bonus, they know how much it is, and then on 1 July they quit. <laughs> but they still have the right to the bonus amount. So that is the Merrill Lynch test. So if you can't pass that test, then you can't get that accrued uh, bonus as a deduction. But if you can, then it's an extra bonus for the year. So good tip there. Uh, so this is more for clients that are probably yeah more organized in terms of how they book their bonuses in. Some, some clients are that organized, but some are not. 